you know you're off to a great start when this greets you after the title screen. Disgaea is a beloved RPG franchise full of shirtless heroes, outrageous attack animations, a layered grid-based combat, crazy seven-figure damage attacks, off-the-wall edgy storytelling, and a level cap that is just out of this world. So when Disgaea RPG was announced for mobile, I was grinny like a preenie. Now that I've gotten my demonic hands on it, all I have to say is, don't do it, dude. <laughs> Disgaea RPG is a disgrace to the Disgaea fanbase. More so, it's a 9 million damage slap to the face. Let's not kid ourselves. Disgaea RPG is a basic gotcha auto attack battler with a sprinkle of RPG elements. Disgaea, the actual game, is a grid based tactical strategy RPG. So, excuse my disgust when I witness classic characters standing in front of each other playing a game of back and forth patty cake. Okay, let me collect my thoughts here. I admit, I expected a bit more. But can you blame me? Would it be so difficult to recreate? create the series as a free-to-play mobile game, you can keep the gotcha mechanics, but at least stay true to the gameplay. If Fire Emblem can do it, heck, if Final Fantasy War of the Visions can manage, then for the love of Odin himself, why can't Disgaea do it? Maybe I should actually explain the gameplay. Tap, attack, wait, tap, attack, wait, tap for a special, wait, or just let it autoplay, because that's what they really want us to do. Then level up, equip gear, summon heroes, because that's what they really want us to do. Then continue on into the abyss that is an auto RPG. Speaking of auto, I actually like something about it. Speeding up the gameplay with auto will speed up the sound as well. It was kinda hilarious listening to the sound effects and dialogue sped up times four. <laughs> That is what I liked about it. The freaking sound effects. You know I'm losing my mind when I find enjoyment out of Disgaea chipmunks furiously battling on screen. Before I can even muster the courage to talk about the monetization, I will at least give credit where credit is due. The graphical art style is fantastic. It better be. It would be really hard to mess that up. The game keeps the classic pixelated sprites the series is known for. Every character looks unique, and the designs are spot on, including the cool anime style storytelling. Even the outlandish special attacks are a sight to behold. Yes, behold them. Teasing my eyes with Disgaea imagery was the only reason I wanted to move forward. The only desire to disgrace my brain with the brain dead gameplay. One point for art style, negative nine gazillion for redundant reused gameplay mechanics. Now on to the sickening monetization. I'm not upset by its gotcha again implementation. Many mobile games find ways to make gotcha feel deserved. But when a game decides to have summons based on free earned currency, then only let you summon with paid currency, I lose my shiitake mushroom. Throw in the purchase of upgrade and gear packs, and we have a well-rounded game of claw catcher madness. Should I not complain about these tactics? Probably. Yet like I mentioned before, I've seen gotchas do this better, and I'm holding Disgaea RPG up to a standard that it doesn't even hold itself up to. The monetization is the equivalent of finding a chest full of gold, to only find out there's a chest full of diamonds within, that can only be opened by purchasing the equivalent amount of gold within that chest. Did that make sense? Well it did as I was typing it, so I'll just leave it be. Alright folks, I back on this game more often than I bash the attack button in this game. Let me get real for a second, as if I wasn't real for the past several minutes. This genre is rampant on mobile. Some are decent, others are trash. So I am not ignorant to the fact that these mechanics are enjoyed by mobile gamers. I'm just highly disappointed that Disgaea is the latest IP to succumb to the devastation. So here's my recommendation. Don't do it, dude. How dare they present us with a copy clone generic RPG with a coat of Disgaea paint. Actually, I know why they did it. They did it for for one reason, and one reason alone. To cash in on a popular franchise, of course. One that fans would love to play on their mobile devices. The sad thing is, a percentage of those fans will play this, and even pay for it. I won't be one of them. And if you're a fan of multicolored penguins that surround your party of half-naked demon heroes, then you won't either. I'll say it again. Don't do it, dude! As always, thanks for watching, Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more videos, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, I begin began my journey with Disgaea 4 on the PS Vita. I definitely went back to discover what I was missing.